Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. If your refrigerator door isn't staying closed, then it might be an issue with the gasket. Alternatively, the fridge might not be level. If the door isn't closing properly, then warm air will rush into the fridge and freezer. You might notice condensation forming on the walls or extra frost as the moisture freezes. A bad door seal will also cause the compressor to work harder. In this episode, first we'll do some initial checks. Then we'll learn how to replace the door gasket. Finally, we'll raise the legs to adjust the level. This applies to most top freezer, bottom freezer, and side-by-side -side refrigerators. First, inspect the door seal. Follow the perimeter and look for any damage in the gasket. Now, check for gaps. You can use a hair dryer to help form the gasket. Simply let the magnetic strip catch and apply heat. Now, pull the handle slightly. This can expand the gasket, which will reduce any gaps. You might also need to use your hands to help form the gasket. As well, applying a light coat of Vaseline can also help the gasket to make a better seal. If the door still doesn't make a good seal or the gasket is damaged, then it's best to install a new one. To begin, you might need a screwdriver or nut driver, a heat gun, and you might also need a socket set. Keep in mind there is some variation between models and not all refrigerators will have the same parts. You can enter your model number on the Amory Supply website to see a parts breakdown. This can be helpful to show you which parts are in your refrigerator and where they are located. When receiving your new gasket, it will be folded and packed in a smaller box. This can cause changes in the gasket shape. Before installation, it's best to help the gasket return to its original shape. Lay the gasket out flat for 24 hours. You can also use a hair dryer to help make the gasket more pliable. Alternatively, you can soak the gasket in a bathtub full of hot water. There are several ways that gaskets are mounted. In some models, the gasket is fitted into a small groove. Use a screwdriver to lift up the gasket. Now work your way around the entire perimeter. In other models, the gasket is held behind a small lip or a mounting bracket. If needed, loosen the screws to lift up the bracket. Next, pull the gasket outwards. Now, if it's difficult to remove, then you can always cut the gasket. Alternatively, you might find it easier to replace the gasket with the door lying on a flat surface. You can see how to remove the door in the video linked below. If the gasket sits inside a groove, simply push it into place. Slowly work your way around the door and press down firmly. The gasket should be sitting flush with the door. In other doors, you'll have to push the edge of the gasket under the lip. You can use a flat blade screwdriver to push in the edge. Continue around the perimeter. If needed, tighten any screws to secure the mounting bracket. After the gasket is installed, check to see if it makes a good seal around the refrigerator. If needed, 
you can use a hair dryer to help form the gasket. If the door still doesn't stay closed, then it's best to adjust the legs. Raising the front legs will help shift some of the weight backwards, putting more pressure on the door gasket. First, remove the kick plate. It can be good for someone to help push the front side of the refrigerator. This will reduce the weight, making it easier to adjust the legs. If the top of the adjustment screw is open, then use a socket wrench to adjust the height. Turn clockwise to raise the feet. You might have to give it a few good turns on each side to start changing the level. In some models, you'll need an open-ended wrench. Now check the level and keep adjusting as needed. Some models will have screws to adjust the height of the wheels. For this, you'll need a flat blade screwdriver or a socket wrench. Turn the screw clockwise to raise the refrigerator. To lower it, turn counterclockwise. Finally, replace the kick plate. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.